All right, guys. So if you have a tankless water heater that every now and then you see some water coming out out of the pressure valve, um, what I was thinking to do is to connect the pressure valve to an exhaust so like that it didn't drip. Connect it here and back in here so it didn't drip on the floor but I called the manufacturer and asked them if it was normal and they explained to me that I needed to get a little um, thermal ex expansion tank and so I look online for the thermal expansion tank and found out that they're pretty big and as you can see I don't have that much room that I can install it on. So I did some research and I found this a Zimlet Zep one, and this is what it looked like. And it's actually super cool because it's small. It's made specifically for tankless water heater, um, and so I'm gonna install it. And I'll show you. I'm doing it so the first thing is you have to do it on the cold water line so my cold water line is right here so I think I'm gonna install it right at the top I have two water heater but on two different line so I'll install the other one right here on the ground um, all right so I'm gonna get to it and get it ready so I got, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to install a T and then I bought the connection, it's a half inch and so we'll just have to install the T line and the little extension. Alright, I'm going to get it going. So I found in my scrap, oops, I, I found in my scrap uh, old piece of pipe so I'm gonna use it I'm not gonna cut it first because it's gonna be easier to have a long pipe to do the soldering and I'm gonna attach the this piece at the end and then I'll do the cutting so wish me luck all right so I solder both ends and now I'm gonna cut I think about here to attach my T. That's it. All right, I cut it. The piece. Now, piece of advice: I made the mistake before. You would think like, let's do the soldering now, so it's one less soldering to do when it's like in a difficult position. But what happened is that sometimes when you solder, you have a little bit of the soldering that come out. And then you cannot stick in the new, the new pipe so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the cut put it in and then solder the three connection at once all right we'll see you in a sec all right so moments of truth I'm gonna, I just clean up figure out I'm gonna clean it up now before I cut it so it's easier I just clean up that section and I'm gonna get ready to install this. Now the beauty about this little teeny guy is that because there's so little water in it you really it doesn't matter which way you install it you can install it up like this sideway down it doesn't really matter so I think I'm gonna because if I install it up it's a little bit close to that pipe so I'm going to install it going down because I have plenty of room going down. So I'm about to cut and do my soldering. Wish me luck. Oh, by the way, to cut I'm using this little guy. It's really nice. You put it around so you unscrew so it fits. Then you tight it. And then when it's tight, I make sure you're 
at the place you want to cut, like right here. That's about right. And then when you want to cut, you just turn tight, turn tight, and so on until the pipe separates. So I need my two hands, so I'm going to stop showing you. I'll show you in a second. Alright, so I cut it. It looked like there were a little tension on it that made it that it separate a little bit. So I'm going to dry it all up and start soldering. See you in a sec. Okay, we have it all in place. Now I'm going to do the soldering. Okay, soldering is done. Fine. I'm gonna let that pipe cool down before I like mess with it and attach that little device. Okay. All right, that's it. Installed and installed. I put the water under the pressure. There's no leak, so I'm excited. I am not a pro. And very happy to see that everything look fine. Right there and right there. Again, this was featuring the Zilmet stainless steel thermal expansion tank, the Zip One. Let's see the number. That's it. Thank you, everybody. Happy home improvement. I guess we get uh, to accomplish things during coronavirus. So hopefully I will no longer, I did a double security to put like the, this pipe here. So the water go down all the way outside the house. So no more water at the bottom on the floor. And um, that's it. Thank you.